What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbaz. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go down below and hit the subscribe button because at 3,800 subscribers, we're having a cash raffle. For that cash raffle, um, how we're going to do it is if you're near a Western Union or if you're near any Walmart, we could transfer money. So if you're near one of those two, then you qualify for this coming up raffle. And for the Walmart, all you do is go to the customer service and you present your ID and you get paid. It's very simple. For the Western Union, I've never done Western Union, but we could try it. So I just had the starter tested at Advanced Auto Parts and the starter passed the test. So that leads me to believe that it's some kind of uh, electrical problem that's going on. Something's not sending signal to the starter. So I got a few things in my mind that I think could be wrong with the Civic right now. So we're gonna head to the junkyard and snag some fuses, some relays, and maybe the neutral safety switch and head over to the Civic and see if that gets the car started. Junkyard's closed, of course. It's Christmas Eve. I guess I'm the only dummy trying to get into the junkyard today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head towards the Civic and try to diagnose it without any of these relays or anything. And I'm gonna check out that neutral safety switch see if I could bypass it all right guys so we're back over here where the Civic is at I went ahead and I bypassed the first thing I did I bypassed the clutch pedal neutral switch there's two of them I wasn't sure which one it was so I went ahead and I disconnected it let me show you guys for those of you that don't know what it is So these two connections right here. So when you step on the pedal, there's like a solenoid right, where is it? Right there. You guys see where it touches up? It pushes a button and let me see if I can point it out. This thing right here, this thing. So that's a button. I went ahead and disconnected that one. And way up there, there's a second one. So it's both of these right here. And all I did was put a piece of wire and just bypassed it like that. And I tried to start up the car and that didn't do anything. So I wasn't sure if it was the battery. So I went ahead and I took the battery off of this car, which is the same battery. I threw it on there. I tightened everything up and that didn't do anything. I checked all my fuses, I checked all the fuses inside, everything checked out. So then I came over here, I disconnected the lines over there, um, the other pigtail over here, and then I went over here, I came over here, I opened up my glove box and I started pushing on this one. I pushed it all the way back and forth a few times and I came down here I unplugged all my wires from my ECU and I plugged them back in and I went ahead and I turned the key and now everything seems to be okay and I don't know what the hell was the problem now so as soon as I turn the key I'm able to hear the fuel pump prime Let me show you guys. So I got the key. I put the key in. I don't know if you guys heard that. Let me put you guys back here by the fuel pump. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, clean up all the stuff that I have, all the mess. And we are officially gonna try to prime the engine and to try to start it so we're back where we left off on my last video we got the wires unplugged we got this guy to catch the oil that's gonna feed into the turbo 
and we are gonna go ahead turn the key let all the fluids build up into the system let the a uh, little bit of oil fill up into here I'm guessing it's gonna take a few turns for for the oil to come up this far so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key I got my fingers crossed and I'm gonna go ahead and do this All right, we're having the same problem again, the same electrical issue. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle my wires by the ECU and see if that does anything. I have the key turned right now, so I should hear some beeping. Nothing. I don't even hear the fuel pump anymore. I'm gonna try to backtrack everything that I did. All right, so I'm not sure what I did again, but everything's back on. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime it. We'll figure this out later. Nope. It's not doing anything. I'm ready to give up for the day. Um, I'm gonna have to come back a different day and try this again. So when I put the key in, that's all it does. I don't hear my fuel pump or anything. When I do turn it all the way, when I turn the key all the way, you can hear a noise. The noise is coming from this little box right here. From this one. So I think I'm gonna wait till after Christmas and I am gonna come back, go to the junkyard, come back and try to locate one of those. Um, if you guys know of anything else that, that I might be uh, missing here, let me know, put it down in the comments below. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Um, you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Catch you guys later. Peace out.